Hey guys, this is Jason Lipoff, and I wanted to welcome you to the 16 Habits of the Rich Accountability Group or Challenge Group. Um, for those of you guys that have never been in an accountability or challenge group, basically uh, what this is, is it's uh, you know based on a topic, sometimes it's nutrition, fitness, uh, in this aspect it's, uh, it's more finance related but more lifestyle mindset related. Um, and it's basically a bunch of people plugging in every day into a, um, sometimes it's through my website TNT Nation, but in this instance uh, it's going to be through uh, Facebook. And it's uh, going to be a private Facebook accountability group where every day um, I post um, whatever the topic is. So in, in this instance, it'll be two habits a day that uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to discuss, we're going to talk about um, whether we do them already and um, you know what the research shows of, of why they are habits of the rich. 40% um, of what we do in our lives is habit, and there's a reason for that. Um, the amount of energy that uh, that the brain requires uh, to work is um, it is not proportionate uh, to to the weight of the brain. The, the brain is like 2.5 percent of our body weight, and yet it requires about 20 percent of our energy. So in order for us to actually live and not be exhausted, the majority of what we do has to be habit. Well, that's okay, we've got good habits, but if we've got bad habits, um, that means that a lot of times we don't even know um, in our daily activities what we're doing. And then when we want to change it, um, it takes time and it's not easy. So these, um, th this, was, uh, this was a study that was done uh, by uh, Tom Corley and um, what he found uh, was huge discrepancies between habits of what very highly successful people, um, uh, the habits of the rich, okay, people with much very high um, uh, medium income uh, compared to uh, the poor and, and he uh, designated the poor as in making less than $35,000 a year. So why is this important? Well, it, money, you know, money isn't everything but money uh, allows you freedom and it allows you um, things to do the things that you want to do in life i mean a lot a lot of times you're just handcuffed in your life when um you don't know where you're going to put food on the table tomorrow uh and there's you know stress with bills etc so i wanted to create this challenge to really help a lot of you guys especially in middle america or people have just been struggling with some tips of really what am i doing every day what are the little small things because it's the small habits that we do and it's the small steps that really um, you know, really help, uh, you know, transform our life. Um, coming, you know, myself in terms of, um, you know, where am I coming from? Ever since, you know, uh, ever since I was little, I had to, you know, overcome several things uh, where I was either the underdog or, um, you know, in, in a ridiculous amount of debt. And how did I get through that? And how have I been able to achieve complete financial independence? And that it's it's through hard work, dedication, consistency, and doing every single one of these habits. So as soon as I read these, I was like, I do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And it wasn't really until I, I did all these habits that I really feel like, you know, the the events that happen in our life, um, nothing could derail me. Because anything that happens, it's like I just learn from it and move up, learn from it and move up. And if, I'm, if I want to make a change, if I want to change one of my habits that I feel like is destructive, um, I appreciate the criticism, I accept it, I take it in, and, and what I do is I first find a really strong reason for why I want to change that habit because I know that I'm going to want to not, I'm going to want to go back to my old habits over and over and over again. So I find a community, I find mentors, I find people that have done it right, and, and I get going. So that's what this is about. This is for you guys to so just take it all in. You got two habits a day and every day. So, um, you know, this, this challenge will be about seven days. It's starting on Monday, December 1st, right after, uh, uh, right after Thanksgiving. Um, so, uh, you know, so take this weekend and uh, you know, have, have, a, uh, you know, have a blessed time with your family. Uh, eat, some, eat some good food and, um, and be ready Monday morning for, uh, for the start of something special. And, uh, and a little gift for, for those of you guys that engage every day, I'm going to gonna give away one subscription, a uh, yearly subscription to Success Magazine. And uh, as we move through, 
for those of you guys that are not involved with Beachbody or for those of you guys that are in your own ventures and you just want some advice, um, I'll let you know a little bit about what I do besides being a, uh, besides being a pediatric dentist. Uh, you know, I've been involved in, in several different, um, you know, venture capital and, and other things, um, entrepreneurship, where, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to help people out from, uh, you know, uh, when people come from different places. So it, it's all about finding what people need and providing value for people's lives and fighting an uphill battle from everybody else. So this is all about starting one foot in front of the other. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a good weekend.